All right, what's up, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram? How y'all doing tonight? This is TK from Comic Insider. So here in the next couple minutes, we're about to be having a pretty cool interview. Yes, we're going to be having an interview with our good friend, celebrity artist and actor, Matthew Ashley. Now, if you've seen Comic Insider before and you've seen some of that badass artwork in the background, anything from the Skeletor to the Fifty Shades of Jay and Silent Bob, and the uh, and the Transformers or the Deadpool flipping a bird, man. This is the man that did all that great artwork. And you can uh, check out his new Clint Eastwood movie. And he's also on DC's new TV show, The Watchmen, which is pretty cool. So let's get right to this interview. Check this out. Comic Sire, like, and subscribe. We will see you in the multiverse. Gotta run. <laughs> for action. Alright, what's up? This is TK from Comic Insider. How y'all doing tonight? So, I'm here with my good friend, celebrity, and artist, Matthew Ashley. How you doing tonight, man? Good, how's it going, guys? Miss you guys. Yeah, it's a little bit strange uh, on the Comic-Con life. Everything's up, you know, at a halt because of this virus? I mean... Yeah, it's just... definitely weird. It's unlike anything we've all ever seen, so we're all just trying to make through. Right, right. Man, I'm even wearing my badge just to have a sense of normalcy, you know? <laughs> I understand. I've actually been doing conventions for the cats outside, signing autographs for them and everything. It's been really <laughs> kind of difficult. I'd much rather deal with humans than cats. Yeah, it's crazy. And they got this stuff on. I, I haven't even figured it out yet. Have you heard the, uh, was it the virtual Comic Cons and stuff? There's a lot of people trying to do stuff like that. I, I have still, like, I've been trying to figure out all week, have no idea how that would even operate. I have no idea either, so no clue. But yeah, man, so I uh, wanted to talk about a little bit of the, uh, you know, a little bit of the stuff you've been working on, man. I know you've been doing, uh, catching up on a lot of artwork. Yeah, absolutely. I've got about 15, 16 brand new pieces coming your way right now. I just released The Joker just, uh, what, yesterday, I think? Yeah, I saw that. That was That's pretty cool. Perfect. I've got one I was going to show off for you guys that I haven't um, actually told anybody about yet. But oh, dude, um, amazing. You guys are He-Man fans. What? So what working on right now. Oh, man, Matthew, that is awesome, bud. Hey, no, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, big fan of that show. I actually got, uh, if you see here in the background, got the uh, Skeletor on the wall that I got from you. Yeah, nice. Actually, if you notice in the background on the show, there is a lot of, like, right behind me, there is the Fifty Shades oh, of yeah. Jay and Silent Bob. You got the Skeletor, Transformers, Deadpool, Flipping the Bird, the whole nine yards, man. Taste, K TK. Huh? You've always had impeccable taste, TK. Well, man, always got to get the best artwork, and you got the best artwork, man. It means a lot. Thank you. So, uh, speaking of... Uh, you were talking about the Joker, man. How long does it take to uh, sketch out, you know, a great piece of art like that, man? Because that I, that was just an well, impeccable the, detail. Well, with uh, being sequestered and everything like we all are, I've had a little bit more time to focus on stuff. Uh, I've actually got it done pretty quick. I got the Joker done in about a week, and I've got it here. If you'd like me to put it up here. Yeah, that, oh, my God, that is amazing. That's the original Joaquin pencil Phoenix. And that took only about a week to do, huh? About a week. Usually it takes me several weeks with everything that I usually have going on. But, you know, since we're stuck here at the house, I've been able to get a lot more stuff done. Right? And start to do more stuff, too. Yeah, man. I saw uh, also you had up, uh, what was it, last week you put up the, uh, what was it, the Adam West, the OG Batman. Yeah. That looked awesome. I'm going to have to, next time I see you, or, or I guess uh, it's going to be a while, so I'm going to have to go to the website, man. Absolutely, and that's what I'm trying to tell everybody is, you know, if y'all need anything, the website is fully active, art at MatthewAshley.com. You can go and get prints and have them personalized just like you would at the show. So, you know, give me a message, you know, check it out. Definitely, definitely. I'm going to have to hit you up on that. And, uh, you know, since you're 
showed off the uh, Joker, and we were talking about Batman for a second. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this, and you, you, it's kind of a trip with you, because you're not just a, you know, celebrity artist, you're an actor as well. I wanted to right. talk about the uh, the Watchmen for a minute, since we're finally yeah. allowed to talk about it. So, man, Absolutely. what was it like being on the set of, you know, a great DC show like that? Honestly, I was more involved with uh, working with Jean Smart from Designing Women. I was all about her. She was awesome. Awesome, Charles awesome, was man. She incredible from Designing Women, so she was hilarious to work with all day. She was super sweet, too. That's awesome. Now, what, what's it like? Because, I mean, I always picture, you know, being on a set of a DC, like any DC show. Uh, versus, what's that like being on a set of uh, just some of the normal stuff you've done? Like, uh, what was it? Uh, you were recently on a, a, in a Clint Eastwood movie, weren't you? Yeah, Richard Jewell. I got to work with Clint Eastwood for about six weeks on that one. That That's pretty epic. What's it like working with that dude? Because that, that guy's <laughs> not only a great director, but a great, you know, actor. He I mean, is he's phenomenal, days. a genius in all forms of the word. He's one of the sweetest uh, people you'll ever get to work for. He's unlike any of the snarling cowboy characters you've always seen him in. He's just always happy and warm and smiling and talk about a hard worker. He was never in that director's chair. He was always up for every single shot. And it was 105 degrees down there in Atlanta when we were filming all this. So it was unbearable. He put all those young people to shame. Damn, really? That was awesome, man. Man, that is a trip, dude. So, uh, do you got any um, upcoming projects, or are we still at a hush hush point, man? Uh, he, uh, uh, I've got a couple of episodes coming out that were filmed before all this stuff happened. I've got an episode of uh, Killer Snap Killer Couples coming out pretty soon, where I'm a, uh, one of the lead detectives. And I'm also a detective on that episode of Snap, too, coming out real soon. But uh, other than that, just about all the productions have shut down for right now. So, we're just kind of holding on and limbo just like everyone else yeah i hear you on that i i'm feeling grateful enough that i live right next door to a restaurant i haven't oh, been having to go to the grocery right. store at all <laughs> right but yeah hopefully this is uh gonna be you know all this gonna be over soon we'll get back to work you know hopefully be able to hang out right. in the next couple months that's right but uh we'll dude thank you once again so much for uh being on the show uh before we do head out uh, do you want to, you know, let the fans of Comic Insider or, you know, just everyone, uh, even people stumble across the page, you know, let, let them know how to find you, some of your work? Absolutely. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. And my uh, all my social media can be found from my website. It's artofmatthewatchley.com. From there, it can it connects you to my IMDb, IMDb page for all my acting credits, my square store to my friends, uh, Facebook instagram twitter like i said so i'm definitely very accessible and i'm also open to do commissions too in case anybody would like anything done personally i don't just do stuff for the celebrities and actors so if you want something done you let me know yeah you let this guy know he's the best you know artist i know i mean once Thank again you. you have some amazing artwork and it's always Thank an honor doing it i mean heck this is our this is our fifth interview now man let's just start be. i like you guys Start uh, being y'all's full, your full time interview crew now, man. At this point, <laughs> I can put that on my taxes, right? Hey, I, I think you can. <laughs> All right, man. We'll let you get back to it. Thank you once again so much for being on the show. And it's great seeing you, bud. Stay safe out there. Great seeing you guys. Thank you guys for having me. You, you all stay safe out there. You heard it from the legend himself, Comic Sire. Like and subscribe. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We will see you in the multiverse. Gotta run. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men. And you should like, subscribe, watch, and tell all your other friends to like and subscribe, Comic Insider.